Hey, FTM Kickstarters. This is uh, Topic 7, Dating and Relationships. Um, sorry, I'm reading off the screen as to what I'm supposed to talk about. Um, if, when, and how do you tell somebody you're trans? Um, I've done this several different ways. I have gone with the upfront, before we've even met, told them that I was trans. Um, don't really recommend that method. Didn't work so well for me. Um, the couple girls I told that to didn't want to meet me. They freaked out. Um, totally uncomfortable with it. I've also gone out on like one date with somebody and then told them right away. Again, it didn't go very well. Um, with my current girlfriend, um, I didn't tell her for about six months. Um, I did tell her before we started dating, but uh, we went to school together, so we were lab partners, so we kind of got to know each other on a, on a classmate, friend basis before we decided that we wanted to take things and make it a little bit more romantical type things. Um, but she is completely straight, um, had no idea that I was trans, has only dated, you know, bio guys and whatnot have it, so... You know, it was kind of strange, and I was just like, hey, um, I need to tell you something. Um, you know, and I just kind of told her, you know, the whole situation and everything else like that. Um, when you do tell people, I kind of, um, some things that work for me, if you're nervous about telling them, kind of probe the question and topic prior to, you know, just kind of be like, hey, you know, do you consider yourself an open-minded individual and start conversations? dealing with that and, you know, different situations and just gauge their reactions to it. Um, I've also tried talking about gay and lesbian friends and gauged their reactions to that type of person and that type of relationship. Um, kind of give you a good hint as to whether or not they're going to be totally okay with, you know, the whole trans thing. Um, I've also dated lesbians, I've dated bisexual women, I've dated straight girls. I find the easiest for myself, personally, to date would be straight girls. Um, lesbians I got dumped a lot, bisexuals tend to be crazy, no offense to bisexuals out there, but several I have dated were slightly um, on the crazy side. So for me it's easiest to date straight girls, um, but like I said, just kind of, you know, pose pose the topics with, hey, you know, are you open-minded, do you consider yourself an open-minded individual, um, I'd also kind of let them get to know you maybe a little bit before you broach the topic of trans if you're a little bit nervous about whether or not it's going to make or break the relationship. Um, from my experience, I found that once people get to know me, for me, um, it's easier to tell them because then they find out and they just, it's really not that big of a deal because they've known me as a guy, they never thought of me anything else but a guy, you know, so for them it's just, you know, a minor cosmetic fault in my body that they, you know, can work around. Um, do I go to straight bars, gay bars, no bars? Um, I don't go to gay bars so much anymore. I did early on in my transition, but now that I'm well along and identify as a straight male, I kind of feel uncomfortable going into straight or into gay bars. Um, kind of from the standpoint that I often get hit on by a lot of gay men, um, and I have nothing against them, but it kind of gets to the point where it's just excessive and. If I start to get intoxicated, then I become extremely flirtatious, and it just doesn't work well, and there are stories to go with that. Um, so to when I do go to bars, um, I tend to go to more straight bars than I do gay bars, but I, on occasion, if my friends are going to the gay bar, I'll go to the gay bar. I, I really don't care. I'm not against anything. Um, how do I meet people? I have met people various ways. Um... I've met girls through dating sites, I've met girls through MySpace, Facebook, um, and my current girlfriend I met at school. <laughs> so, I mean, 
It's the day and age of internet dating, so I'm really not against all of that. My parents are divorced, and they have both met their current partners through internet dating. So, I mean, it's not something that I'm against. I met a lot of um, crazy girls <laughs> that have some issues through the internet. But uh, most of my friends now, like from a friend standpoint, I meet a lot of them online. From a dating standpoint, in the past, I've met a lot of them online through various sites. Um, I don't go out a lot to bars, so I don't really have a standpoint on how to meet them in person type of deal. I've never been that type of person. Um, but like I said, my current girlfriend I met in school, so that was a new, uh, new walk of life, life for me. Uh, how did I come out to my partner? Uh, well, we were kind of, I was just sitting around chatting and then I just kind of told her, you know, like I said, hey, we need to talk about something, um, I have something to tell you, I don't know how you're going to take it, um, I just kind of explained it to her that, you know, I was born differently than most of the other guys that she's probably dated and I lack certain appendages, you know, in my body, um, that's pretty much about it. I just kind of tossed it out there. <laughs> I mean, that's, sometimes that's the only way you can do it. Um, my girlfriend's a very straightforward person, so it wasn't really going to beat around the bush as far as any of that came. Um, what are some of the challenges you have faced throughout your transition? Um, transition challenges in regards to relationships. Um, very bad experiences dating lesbians. I've been dumped for being trans um, several times. I've had lesbians tell me that I was stealing their lesbian identity, um, which I don't understand. I've been, like I said, I've been passed over for dates before people have even met me, just talking over the phone when I'd come out straight up prior to meeting them as trans. Um, Outside of just the initial, you know, get the topic out there type deal, I really haven't had any issues as far as dating goes. Um, like I said, just being dumped for being trans, um, you know, being dumped because I'm stealing a lesbian identity, because I'm not a woman, because, you know, I, I like to think that I wasn't dumped by my last girlfriend because I did not have a, you know, functional penis, but still left a chance considering she is dating a bio guy now, so really not understanding how that would not have played into it, um, but like I said, outside of those things, just minor stuff, and you, as, as you get on further along your transition, like, you, you start to learn you know, how to approach various topics as far as how to approach women and how to approach telling people that you're trans and yada, yada, yada. It gets easier over time. Um, I think that's it. So advice, tips, like I said, just, you know, feel the situation out. If you're not comfortable telling somebody you're trans, do not tell them right away. I know some people say, tell them, people are going to say you're lying to them. You're not lying to them, you're just... I mean, if it's not going to go to a sexual standpoint, what does it matter to them what's in your pants? And that goes with any any friendship, relationship, any, any type of, you know, dealio. It, it, what does it matter to them what's in your pants if they're not sleeping with you? It's basically the deal. So just basically do things when you're comfortable. Date people that you're comfortable with. Go to bars you know, clubs and whatnot that you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable in a situation, it's going to come off and it's just not going to be good for you. So just make sure you're comfortable. Um, always be open and honest with all of your partners. When, when they get to a more serious standpoint, obviously right away don't, you know, there's not really a need unless you feel to. But I guess that's it. Um, so have a good night, have a good weekend, and we will see you around next topic. Alright, bye guys.